Aries, welcome. Let's see what 2020 is bringing in for you guys. Happy New Year. General messages, okay? So if they resonate, great. If they don't, check your moon and your rising. Don't try to make these readings fit if they don't, okay? So I do most definitely see that some of you guys, the truth is getting ready to be revealed. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? But I'm picking up that some communication is getting ready to come in or some type of truth is getting ready to come out, okay? Aries, what message is there for Aries? All right, we got partnerships and alliances, okay? We got transformation. Something's not working, okay? Something's not, someone's not cooperating or something isn't working. We have sacrifice, which is the hangman. What's up, Tony? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you guys could be looking back at a situation with regrets. This could have something to do with the marriage or home life, um, but something isn't working or someone isn't cooperate, cooperating. Okay, we have the regrets and foundation and achievements, okay? So let's grab some clarifiers. I want to see what's going on. Why is partnerships and alliances here for Aries? Yeah, that Ten of Cups energy. Most definitely about a relationship, okay? Um, working on a relationship, okay? Why is the transformation card here? Yeah. The Ten of Swords and the Death card. Both of those cards is an ending, okay? So, yeah, and then someone wants to walk away. All right, we got the Eight of Cups. So, something most definitely, someone isn't cooperating and something isn't working. Why is sacrifice here? Someone's wanting to move on. I'm most definitely getting a closing of a chapter, possibly even like a breakup or a divorce of some sort, something in that nature, and someone definitely like moving on. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? Let's see. Someone's possibly waiting for somebody to leave or move on, or someone could be at a distance. Why is the Six of Swords here? Someone's making a final decision. Somebody's waiting on someone to make a final decision. On what they want to do. Okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ooh. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius, but there's definitely an ending, okay? Someone is, doesn't want to try to balance this out anymore. Someone is done. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? King of Pentacles. Someone has been putting a lot of, uh, investing a lot, or someone feels as if they are the breadwinner, um, or they've been the perfect person in this relationship, okay? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Mm hmm Nine of Wands, okay. Oh, but some there could be trust issues, okay. There could be trust issues, okay. I'm picking up trust issues here. And somebody is not wanting 
to re try to resolve this issue. It's like, no, Larry, it's done. It's a wrap. Let's get a read in, okay? Let's get a read in. Let's go ahead and get into it. One message is there for Aries, please. We got a breakup of some sort, a divorce, or someone is definitely hurting. Okay, so the three of pentacles here. Okay, something is not working, most definitely. And then look at this. Look at this. Same two cards that came out in the first deck that we used came right back out again. The Ten of Swords and a Death card. And on top of that, we got the Four of Swords. Someone's tired of the conflict, of arguing, of disagreements, okay? Someone's done. Something is not working. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Someone's tired of pretending. Someone's tired of the lies. Someone's tired of, ooh. Someone's spreading rumors, okay? Page of Swords. Someone's spreading rumors. I'm picking up rumors. Oh, something, somebody is lying, spreading some rumors. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Ooh, someone's not prepared. Someone is not looking forward to the future. There's some rumors going on, and this is just not going to work. This is not going to work. I'm, some, I'm picking up you guys aren't even trying to work this out. It's like a no. And once you piss the Aries off, this is like, that's it. Ooh. You guys weren't prepared for this. There's been gossip and rumors going on. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Empress. This could be a motherly energy. Okay. With this Empress card here. But someone could have uh, could be pregnant. Okay. With this Empress card here. This could be a baby mama or baby daddy thing. Um. Nonetheless, a very feminine energy, okay, with the Queen of Cups and the Empress is very, very, you know, feminine energy. Why is Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Ooh, Six of Swords, okay. Could be at a distance. Sun card, Leo's energy. Okay. You guys feel like you aren't ready for a relationship, this relationship in particular, because you just feel like it's not going to work. It's too much gossiping or too someone is starting rumors, okay? There's too much gossiping, too much hearsay, she say. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords. Okay, someone's calling someone, crying, worried, stressed out. Someone has a whole problem here. A whole problem. Trent, take that trash. Page of Wands. Yeah. Someone's calling, crying. Okay. You guys uh, got someone calling you crying or you're worried, sick about this situation. Okay. Look. Power. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But definitely I'm getting someone's upset. Okay, somebody is upset because either you don't want to work this out or vice versa. Okay. We got passion and unrequited. Okay, so maybe they are feeling that the chemistry is not the same when you two are together. 
okay? The chemistry isn't the same. They're feeling like something isn't right, okay? They're feeling like something isn't right. And I'm picking up, they're picking up on something, okay? Give me another card. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? Ooh. All right. They're trying to possibly keep an open mind about the situation, but I'm picking up, like, they're picking up on something isn't isn't right okay let's get one more card how do they feel give me one more card one more card for aries Too many. Let's see. There we go. Oh, we got deception. I'm telling you. They're picking up that something isn't right now. They're picking it up. They're picking it up. We got lots of um, that past energy. Yes, yeah, see, they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, okay, to discuss something that they feel like is being hidden, Okay, they're picking up on something that isn't right. Okay, they're picking up. And there's some rumors. I'm telling you, there's some rumors that are being said or tossed around. And they're trying to get to the bottom of it, okay? They're trying to get to the bottom of it. Let's see what obstacles are in the way. Okay, this is most definitely like being stable, okay? All right, we got the seven of earth and a page of earth. Okay, so seven of pentacles. Three of fire and a four of fire. I'm picking up as well, waiting until you get stable and being patient, okay? So I'm getting waiting till you get things all together and stable before you, before you move forward, okay? Getting everything together before you move forward is what I'm picking up, okay? Let's see what advice we have for Aries. Ooh, all right. Well, this flip right on over. We have ba balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Now, I'm going to be honest, Aries. And then we got another thing here with self-confidence at the bottom of the deck. Okay? Having self-confidence. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay? With Aries energy, I did, with the certain cards that fell out, I, I did pick up immediately that there are rumors, okay? I did pick up immediately like someone's doing some, you know, gossiping, some whispering going on, some this and some, some, you know, saying that or saying this. But I am also picking up on a relationship that's not working because of some sort of rumor. Now, when I get keep an open mind, okay, and deception, 
I'm thinking that maybe there are rumors of somebody that wants to come out of the closet of some sort or something to that nature. But I'm picking up that there's some type of something that maybe you guys could be keeping hidden or it could just be rumor, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on down in the comment section. But then we get this, okay? And this is about balancing your masculine and your feminine energies, okay? So spirit is wanting you to, you know, let you know to be confident. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you, all right? And like I said, balancing your masculine and your feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you that confidence that you need, all right? So, you guys, let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with you guys later. Ciao for now.